Hey, handsome. Any word from your dad? No, not yet, but I'm sure Luke will be leaving breadcrumbs for Tracy to follow soon enough. <laughs> Although she already has 10 million good reasons to find him. Uh, knowing Luke, it's a lot less by now. <laughs> so what brings you by? Oh, I uh, had a little accident. And I uh, might require some stitches. Oh. Yeah. Hey, Maya. Hey, Bobby. What's up? My nephew here seems to have injured himself, but... I'm sure he won't mind if I leave him in your very capable hands. That sounds perfect to me. I am. Um, I take care of you myself, but I got an important meeting. So Maya's going to fix you right up. Mm. Let me know if you hear anything from your dad. Okay? Yeah, I will. Stray bullet? <laughs> I wish. It's oh. nothing quite that exciting, though, but it is a pretty good story. I have no doubts. Go ahead. All right, so it all started when I left my keys. Right, and I, I was locked out of my place. Now, not my penthouse, mind you, but my far less flashy one-bedroom dump. So anyway, I remembered that I left this window open that sort of faced this inner courtyard in the complex. Right, so I decided to lower myself down from the roof. <laughs> Sounds brilliant. Yeah, well, I thought so too, until I tripped over an exhaust fan and nearly fell off the roof. But I managed to grab onto the ledge. There was this something sticking out, and it's just sliced my hand open. So there I am, dangling about 30 meters above the ground with blood streaming down my arm and I just I, I just started laughing <laughs> uh, you know what I can't do this so what they just randomly assigned me a study partner that I don't even know no your history teacher wanted the transfer student to be with his most organized and prepared student which I think is a big compliment I really am impressed that you've been able to be such a good student, considering everything that's been going on with you. Well, at least the new girl won't know that her study partner is a nutcase uh, who let her boyfriend hey, beat her up you and then lied about it. You are not a nutcase, all right? You've been through a traumatic situation, and you're, you're getting a little bit better every single day. Maybe she's a really nice girl, and you'll have yourself a new friend. I hope so. All the girls at my school are really getting on my nerves. What's her name again? Taylor. Uh, that must be her right now. Okay. You must be Christina. I'm Taylor. Uh, this whole thing with Matt and Maxie, that was just a cover-up, right? I mean, you're not really upset about the kiss, are you? I, I could never bring true vengeance on Maximista or any man she admires. I wish for her only happiness, but the same cannot be said for Dante. I think he needs to suffer for the pain that he caused Michael and Stone Cold and suffer greatly. Believe me, my focus on that matter is razor sharp. Good. Updates for me? Yes, I have been making significant progress. It, it will not be long before I'll be able to secretly siphon large amounts of cash from the Cortez cartel directly into Dante's bank accounts. And then with evidence leaked to the proper authorities, corruption charges, drug trafficking, certain to follow. Oh, nice. Oh, God, I can't wait to see the look on Dante's face when this goes down. Whitney, you're sure that they can't trace this back to us, right? The Jacko is a master when it comes to walking in the world of the internet without leaving footprints. This is perfect. And he can whine and cry all he wants. That's only going to make him look more guilty. This is nothing compared to what he deserves for what he's done. But you know what? It's a start. Oh, no. Whatever you guys are up to needs to stop now. So they found him with Franco parked his car. So far, all we have are tire tracks. This place is a dead end. Look, you know Franco better than anyone else. You have any idea where he would have gone? We know that Franco always leaves a clue. Found this. Jake's presents in concert one night only. Case something. What the hell is this? I, I have spent like doing research on this guy right now. Well, at least it's something. Let's go to Jake's. Partner. Uh, I'm an absent tradition. 
have a green ferret, hey? Sorry, man, I wish I could help you out, but I'm afraid that's a big deal can do. Local cops won't let me stock it, but I do have a very nice single malt scotch I can pour you. Keep it in the back for all the VIPs. That's all right. What do the locals here drink? Nah, it's pretty much a beer and whiskey crowd. All right, give me a whiskey. Whiskey. So, uh, are you the owner here, Jake? It's, uh, it's Coleman, actually. And I am the owner, yeah. Mm -hmm. You ever have any live music? We do. Yeah, in fact, I used to, uh, used to have an open mic night here, but these days everybody's jacked up on karaoke. In fact, you have to check us out Thursdays. Place is packed, tons of chicks. You sing? No. Oh. I actually had something else in mind. You know, if you really need that absent, uh, I could probably make a few calls. <laughs> no. See, I'm an impresario of sorts. I'd like to offer you this $10,000 if you'll book a very special performance that I ever present. He's a performance artist. It'd be for one night only. Yeah. Done.